Hello! Today we are testing some IGBTs. So I broke down this uh, UMOC44 uh, 440 controller and we're going to check to make sure these IGBTs, since it blew up, gotta make sure these guys are okay and we're gonna do that. Gonna set our uh, multimeter here to diode check, continuity check, and what we're looking for is to make sure that uh, the IGBTs are not shorted. So, by, you can see, by going like this, I crossed one of the terminals here. So this row here is the common. It's open, so that's good. And then if we reverse, we get the body diode, which is dropping 0.2 volts. So, if we leave the, uh, you know, this, this is all connected. We can go through and check every one. We want to make sure that the body diodes are all good. And then we can reverse. And we want to check to make sure that everybody is open. And then we want to do that for the, for the other side. So if we do this, we've got body diodes are good. And we're going to switch again and have open circuits. So that means that everybody looks good, but one thing we need to check is to make sure that they actually still switch. So what we can do is we want to make sure that we're in the open position like this, and we're going to use a 9 volt battery that is just hooked up to some clip leads. And what we're going to do is come over here to uh, the terminals here, and they're actually marked emitter 1, gate 1. And this happens to be, if you look here, it says emitter 1 collector 2. So we want to go on to the one that's emitter 1. We're going to connect our ground to the emitter and then our positive will go to the gate and we should get it to turn on. Oh wait, you know what? I have it backwards. <laughs> we want to be this way. <clears throat> okay, let's try this again. So we'll go ahead and hit the uh, gate, and you can see it turned on. And then if we remove that, it'll slowly discharge the capacitor and turn itself off. And of course we can turn it on and then short it out really quick, and then we get to turn off really fast. So I can do that again here. Turn it on, any random bit of metal, boom, off. So we're going to do that, go down the line and check all of them. Make sure that they all work. That's me not making a good connection. And we'll try it again. So it turns on. I'm gonna let it decay. And it turns off. And then we can short it out. Make it turn off instantaneously. And we'll check this last one. Move over to this IGBT. So it turns on. It turn off by the time I get there. So that is working. And we can check the other side. So we'll do the same thing. We'll go on to the emitter of the second one. And we'll flip this so we're open. And we'll go ahead and touch. Turns on. And we'll just let it decay off. And it turns off. Go with the next guy here. And obviously this is just diode checking it. It's not like it's um you know, we're not asking it to pass a whole bunch of current or anything. But this is a good initial test to make sure nothing's bad on them. They're not going to, you know, you want to make sure that they're not shorted. They actually do turn on and off. And it looks like everybody turns on and off. So there you go. All those ones look good. And then as a final check, they can go across the entire power supply for them, 
and make sure that we don't have any short punch through. There you go. So all these uh, IDBTs are good. And we'll be able to use them in the uh, bi-directional buck boost converter. So uh, thanks for watching.